Well, I think as a scientist, you always hope that something that you discover will make a difference, never really knowing whether that will be the case or not. Immunology has really promised to cure cancer for a hundred years, but you couldn't go into your doctor's office and get an immunotherapy. CTLA-4 opened the door, and now PD-1 has really kicked the door wide open. Well, we identified the PD-1, PD-1 ligand pathway, which turns out to be the major way that cancer turns off the immune response. Dr. Hangzhou actually uh, first cloned the PD-1. And then Gordon Freeman and Arlene Sharp, they, they actually helping identify the um, how PD-1 binds to PD-L1, which we clone it. We independently work on receptor and like it, but we don't know this tool is, re is relevant, okay? Then Golden Freeman and Arlene Sharp actually link them together. Well, our collaboration all started with a molecule called B7. Gordon would clone the molecule and it's like, hmm, let's see how important it is. If we eliminate it from the immune system, does anything change? Identifying the receptor ligand interaction is like seeing a lock and a key relationship. And what we learned is this identifies the drug target and it lets us then make a drug that keeps the key from inserting in the lock. And we now appreciate that the tumor microenvironment has many layers of immunosuppression. And this pathway is a key mediator of these inhibitory signals and that if you release that break, then those T cells can enter the tumor and kill it. When I was a student, actually, we learned from a textbook talking about immune system, it's unlikely going to cure large tumor, especially late stage metastatic cancers. Now it's not true anymore. Okay, I think a textbook needs to be rewritten. You know, I do a lot of teaching of medical students and I give a lecture on tumor immunotherapy. Early on, it was all of this hypothetical, and then it was with great joy that I had to rip up my lecture notes and start over, because now there are actually concrete examples of success. This is transformative. This is the best thing going. 10 years ago, if you asked a pharma company to develop an immunotherapy, they would have been really resistant. And the Cancer Research Institute has played such an important role in funding this generation of work which has led to where we are now. And what's so thrilling here is not only was it important basic science, but that this understanding is leading to dramatic effects in changing people's lives. To me, that's the real thrill of this, is to hear these stories, that they're durable responses, the quality of people's lives are changing. People who were treated eight or 10 months ago are now riding their bikes 10 miles in or running marathons. It's just remarkable.